Hello there and welcome to the old horseshoe in the banks of the Olentangy. Home to the Ohio State Buckeyes, one of the great settings in sport. And man, this place is rocking today. And a game like this is what makes college football great. Yeah, there's history and tradition. But right here, right now, there is tremendous intensity and bitterness on this field. You can feel it. As we'll see a squad from the Big Ten, the Michigan Wolverines, taking on the fourth-ranked team, the Ohio State Buckeyes. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler, joined here in the booth by Kirk Herbstreit. Kirk, let's get to the action on the field. will kick it away to start us off. The Turner decides to field it. Stop at the 22. That's pretty solid coverage there. So the Ohio State Buckeyes offense making their way on the field to open this game. And here we go. Wolverines of Buckeyes. Everything that's gone into this game for 365 days is about to play out right now, Kirk. And there's just something right, right? When you look out on that field and you see the colors on the field competing against each other. Maize and blue and scarlet and gray. Let's see what happens. Well, for many, this is the quintessential college football rivalry. It combines tradition, high intensity, and very often high stakes. Yeah, Chris, I really think the rivalry has changed over the years. I, you know, guys in my era would tell you it was a game that was the most heated, but the most respected because of the way you were recruited by... And the junior able to get home with the sack. Well, how about the push up front by the big fellas here? And when you can get pressure like this, that's what separates good defenses from great defenses. And you think back to the Michigan teams, when they've been exceptional, they've had defensive line play just like that. So a tricky situation here. Third and very long inside your own 20. How much of a risk do you take? You know this defense could be very aggressive at this moment. He's moving out of the pocket. Quarterback gets down to avoid the big hit. Boy, he comes up just short of this first down, but a nice job of picking up some yards on third and long. Sometimes you just have to take what the defense gives you. And in this case, it wasn't quite enough to pick up the first down, but he gives them a chance. The Buckeyes will line up to punt it away. And the returner decides to signal fair catch. The Wolverines offense comes out for their first possession today. And how about the game within a game today? The running back coming down here, the linebacker coming up to meet him. We expect some collisions on this field today. Yeah, this linebacker's going to have his hands full because this running back is a difficult guy to contain. Both guys know where each other's going to be lined up at all times. It's just going to come down to which guy can come up and make a play against the other. You recall the last time they played, the Wolverines won a very close game. That has not been forgotten in Columbus for a single minute since then. No, and if I remember right, it was the Michigan defense that really stepped up and prevailed and led them to a close victory the last time out. Let's see what happens today if the Buckeyes offense can make the adjustments. They'll test the right side here. He'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Of course they're going to pick up the first down by running the football. You think about Michigan, you think so many legacy, incredible backs that they've had over the years. Tim Biakabatuka and Tyrell Wheatley and Leroy Hoare. Man, so many good backs have come through Ann Arbor. Just underway, and this home crowd is fired up and ready to make a difference today. He's looking to scramble. Breaking free at the 35. He'll avoid the big hit with the slide. Man, it is fun to watch this guy get out in the open field. I didn't realize he could run like this. That's a big game for this offense. The Wolverines have first and ten here. Off the play fake, looking to throw. Here's a shot toward the end zone. Oh, it's going to be incomplete. Very lucky to avoid an interception there. Risky throw. Boy, not only did they drop what looked like an interception in their own end zone, they blew a golden opportunity to shift the momentum in their favor. 
Important second down play coming up. To throw, it's Orgy. It's a quick grab. That's a big game before he goes out of bounds. It'll move the sticks more than enough for a first down. Well, this is why running the football is so important. You run the ball, and then you go play action. It affects the eyes of the safeties and linebackers and frees up some space for the tight end to be able to pick up a nice game. And here comes the noise. This crowd is trying to inspire this defense to make a big red zone stop. He's moving out of the pocket now. Oh, a sack. The senior on this defense making a big play. What a play here by this defensive line. You can get so caught up in the flashy offense of Ohio State in recent years. But let's not forget, they still play defense in the shoe and have such great history and tradition for that defensive line play. See if the offense can overcome that sack. Second and long. Here's the snap, looking to throw. That's going to be incomplete. A lot of contact. No flag brings up third down. You get a tight end like this, and you know he's used to dishing out the punishment, but here, he's the one that has to absorb the contact, and as a result, he's unable to hold on to the football. Seventh play of the drive coming up, but it is third down and long. From the shotgun, he's probing the secondary. Quarterback takes off now, looking to scramble. Could not get there on the scramble, short of the marker. And now a fourth down decision coming up. Love to see quarterbacks try to keep a play alive. He gave it everything he had here. He came up short of the first down. Boy, he gave him a chance. Now comes the field goal unit. The distance will be from 36 yards away. Right down the middle. So we have our first points on the board. That makes it 3-0. Now, well, Chris, it's a nice kick here to polish off that drive with at least three points up on the board. Following the field goal, the kickoff team is out there now. And it's fielded. Returner trying to create a big play here. And he's tackled at the 21. That's where the drive will start. And the Ohio State offense comes back onto the field. They're coming off a quick three and out. So looking to put something together on this drive with a little more urgency. Caught behind the line. It's Tate. He's brought down after a short gain that's not going to be first down yardage. Well, anytime an offensive coordinator calls a wide receiver screen, he's trying to get offensive linemen out in front of the receiver to create a wall so that receiver can pick a lane to run through. How about the defense here, though? That's called team pursuit and swarming to the football. They didn't give him any lanes, so not much yards downfield for the receiver. And he breaks the tackle on the way to a solid gain there. Any good offense has to have a reliable, quick to intermediate passing game. Even though that wasn't enough for the first down, it's plays like this that help you sustain drives and not get stuck with third down and long. So a very makeable third down for the offense with a 29. He's tackled quickly, but the yardage is good enough for the first down. Tackle made, but a strong arm throw by the senior quarterback. Hey, I don't blame the defense here at all, Chris, for bringing the blitz. It's third down and short. You've got to get pressure on the quarterback, but you got to tip your cap to this quarterback. I think he was anticipating the blitz, so he's able to get the ball out of his hands quickly and pick up the first down. Running out of time in the pocket. And the junior gets home making a sack there. Well, I love this defense and how they're playing some man coverage. And let's face it, when you do that, it's a bit risky. You can leave your defensive backs out there on islands with a good combination of good coverage with a good pressure on the quarterback, and you come up with sacks like this. After a first down loss, it's second and long from their 25. The 
again, thrown out of the RPO, and it's complete. You know, each receiver brings something a little bit different to the table, Chris. To me, the outside receivers usually are a little bit longer, taller guys. You get those slot receivers in the inside, not only can they make the catch, but they have quickness to make plays after the catch. Great example of that right here. They come to the line, a long way to go for the first down, but needing this crucial conversion right now. Just trying to get rid of it. Throws the ball away, but not before taking a hit. Well, he just threw it away here, Chris, and it's not the worst decision. You'd wish he'd find a guy open to give him a chance for this offense to convert, but at least they have some room now to work if they want to bring the punter out. Buckeyes will send the punt team onto the field. We're going to kick it away for the second time. And this one will be fair caught. And the Michigan offense back out on the field. They'd love to stretch the lead here with a touchdown. Had to settle for three last time. Trying to find some room. It's Edwards. They'll bring him down right at the 30-yard line. Great job by the offensive line here, opening up some holes and giving the running back room to run on first down. Plays like this can open up the playbook for the play caller, allow him to make that defense think, are they going to run? Maybe play action, maybe throw the ball downfield. Second down after that run on the previous play. And they'll use the ground game here. And they try the middle, but stuck for no gain. That back just had nowhere to go. Got to give credit to the defense and their run fits on that play. So ball at the 30. This is a manageable third down play for the offense. Can he make it to the marker? The Wolverines are on the move here. Here's a great example of a back knowing where he needed to go on this play, and he didn't mess around. He got between the tackles and earned every single yard. And the Wolverines starting a new series here on first and ten. And the runner takes off to his right. He's wrapped up nicely there by the freshman. For the defense coordinator this week, all week telling us about gap integrity, not giving this running back any creases at all. Really sound defense on that play. Getting set. Here's second down. Keeping it on the ground here. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. Well, they don't block the defensive end. It shows some quickness, Kirk, getting around the edge that time. Yeah, this guy's usually getting around the edge to put pressure on the quarterback, but he reminds everybody here that this guy's a complete package. Not only can he pressure the quarterback, but also he is very, very talented and shows you the physicality he has against the run as well. And he'll drop back here on third down. Got him for a sack. A big play made them one of the senior leaders of this defense. Now they put that nickel defense, and I think that's the right call. You get more speed to be able to cover with those five defensive backs. It also allows that defensive line with that good coverage to get after the quarterback, as we see here. The Wolverines will line up to punt it away. He's on to kick it away, helping his team with field position. Oh, and he's got a crease here. Look out. And the returner is brought down to wrap up the first quarter of play. So, Kirk, Michigan has the lead here at the end of the quarter. Let's check out the stats now through the opening period. Plenty of time for some plot twists here as we begin the second quarter. Here comes the Buckeye offense onto the field. They were forced to punt last time. Can they get this offense going finally? Get some points out of this possession. Defense stops him, but that's a solid game. It's a good, solid game. Five or six yards. Love to see that from the running game. What's the play call here on second down for this offense? They'll run it here. That's the running back with the ball. And they'll tackle him for a loss of five yards. 
Well, the back just had nowhere to go. How about the defensive line? They eat up all the blocks up front, freeing those linebackers up to be able to make the play. Just a bad play all around for this offense. Challenging spot for the offense. It's third down and long from the 45. Dropping back. We're going to throw for the first down. The catch is made for a huge pickup. Touchdown, Buckeyes. Just ran away from the defense. Aren't you taught on defense, Kirk? Don't let him throw the football over your head. Exactly what happened there. That makes me really wonder if it was some kind of miscommunication. If I'm the defensive coordinator, I pull my defensive backs over, make sure everybody's on the same page and getting the right call. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. PAT makes the score 7-3. Kickoff team has come on the field now to send this one away. And he'll bring it out from inside the tent. Solid job by the coverage team. They bring him down at the 16. And the Wolverines offense is back on the field. The last possession, they were forced to kick it away. And they finally get things going this time. And we're able to tackle the ball carrier there. Well, the defensive line does their job eating up those double teams, freeing up the backers to make the play. Second down after that previous play. Looking to throw, it's Orgy. And he finds his tight end for the catch. And they wrap him up after the completion just short of the first down marker. That's what makes this tight end so dangerous. You can flex him out into that slot position. He shows you his versatility. He can be an inline guy that can block, but here he shows you what he can do with his hands. Offense looking to keep the drive alive. It's third down. Try and muscle for the first down. And they'll stop him just short of the marker. Good effort, but the defense holds. Now it's fourth down. The Wolverines bring their punt team onto the field. And he'll kick it away now for the second time. He's got some daylight turning on the speed. And they've got the returner Corral. And here comes the powerful Buckeye offense back onto the field. They scored a touchdown on the last possession. Let's see if this defense has been able to come up with some adjustments and stop them this time. That's a nice tackle there by the senior. Not exactly the outcome this offense was hoping for here on the option. I'll give them credit. They didn't lose anything, so it wasn't a negative play. But this kind of play has got to be able to hit big and get down the sidelines for big yards. Second down after that run on the previous play. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw it. Caught in the backfield. It's Judkins. Now the running back that time just kind of sneaks out of the backfield and shows his hands on that nice catch. Now the offense facing a third and long from their own 41 back in motion now drops back needing a third down completion here grab down the middle it's got what that of the 46 good enough for a first down what a nice find there by the quarterback on third down one of the most telling stats for me at the end of the game is how you do on third down being a good third down team is invaluable to your team's offensive success that's why you drill it so much in practice and the quarterback keeps it here Goes backwards, losing three yards there. Man, oh man, was the defense ready for this play. The quarterback just searching for anywhere to go, looking for daylight, but couldn't find anywhere to go in the keeper. Here's the second down play. The 
Looking to pass. It's Howard. Quick throw complete to the tight end. Finally, they get him. A great tackle by the cornerback. Not easy with that size difference. Boy, that's pretty good coverage here by this defense. Not much of a window to throw this ball into, but the quarterback's accuracy and the size of the tight end picks up a nice game. Not going to be easy here. Backed up a long way to go for a first down. Quarterback moving out of the pocket, trying to create. He'll avoid the tackle there with a slide. I just love the fact he doesn't take a sack here. In fact, I'm sure he can imagine hearing his coach saying it's third down, do not take a sack. And in this case, he's able to avoid the pressure and get out of there. He doesn't quite get the first down, but he does turn a possible loss into positive yards. And in fourth down, they'll punt it away here. And the punt will bounce out of bounds inside the 10-yard line. Great job by the punter there. And the Michigan offense comes back out on the field. Single back takes the handoff. And they'll stop him short of the line to gain. See, that's how you limit what an offense wants to do. This time, the defense just won the battle up front at the line of scrimmage, not giving up any big plays. Everybody's gap sound. It's really solid defense on that play. And this crowd coming to life here, trying to help the defense get a stop with the offense pinned back. Caught over the middle. It's Morgan. They stopped the receiver, but that's a solid gain on that play. The slant is a great way to get the ball to your receiver against man coverage, especially if you feel like you've got an advantage on the matchup. Easy throw and completion for the quarterback and receiver. So let's see what they like here on third and short from inside their own 20. Important to pick up this first down. They'll try to run for the first down. And he will be stuffed for no gain. That's a great play all around by this defense. Your first level defenders hold their own at the point of attack, allowing the second and third level players to roam free and make the tackle close to the line of scrimmage. And the Wolverines will line up to punt it away. Oh, and he's got some space here. And the coverage team able to bring him down. Okay, here comes the Ohio State offense back on the field. They had to punt the ball last time. Now they're looking to add points, build on this lead. Bringing pressure. Able to get the pass away, but took a hit that time. So after the incompletion, it's second down. Pre-snap motion from the receiver. Dropping back. It's Howard. Catch made along the sideline, but he's short of the sticks. And he heads out of bounds after gaining a few yards. Love the timing here between the quarterback and his receiver. Pick up some positive yards, and I continue to be impressed with just the, the chemistry between these two. Crucial third down play after that completion. And the motion by the back now forces the defense to adjust. It's caught downfield. And that game will pick up a first down and move the football to the 36. And you just continue to see the chemistry between these two. And they told us yesterday in our production meeting, they spent hours and hours of working and developing that chemistry and that rhythm by throwing together throughout those summer months. And man, it's starting to really pay off. He's become his security blanket for the quarterback, and especially on third down, get him the ball. Defense makes the tackle on the ball carry. We breach the two-minute warning. We'll have to see if the offense can build on this lead before the break. Second down play coming up. From the shotgun, drops back. And it's complete. What a grab by the receiver right near the sideline. Yeah, you know this defense has got to be frustrated after giving up multiple conversions now on first downs. There's another one. But for the offense, and they're just playing very efficiently right now. The Buckeyes will have first and ten here. Looking to throw it from the red zone. Brought down, but the completion moves the ball inside the 10-yard line. Defense getting pushed back. How many first downs is that on this drive? This defense allows one or two more drives like this, 
and they're going to be gassed by the third quarter. The Buckeyes looking to finish the drive here. It's first and goal. Scanning the field. It's Howard. Gets rid of it on the move. Caught near the goal line. And he steps out of bounds just short of the end zone. One thing I love about this bat is how he gets involved in the passing game. Nice catch here. Solid gain puts him in good position for second down and goal. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. I like the idea of mixing it up from time to time because he can't be too predictable. But the execution was a little bit off on this one. You're going to have to go back to the drawing board. They've been stopped on third down twice in the red zone already. Can they find the end zone this time? Here's the snap. Looking to throw here. Makes the grab in the end zone. Touchdown, Ohio State. Well, that's a thing of beauty right there. Good job all around. Offensive line gave the quarterback enough time. Quarterback puts it right on the money. And with this receiver running a route like this, makes it pretty simple. All he had to do was get his head turned around, catch that football. He's already in the end zone for the touchdown. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. And the kick is up and good. They tack on a point to their lead. So the offense gets momentum scoring before halftime. Now the kick up. We'll see if the defense can get a stop and preserve that momentum. He's going to return it from near the goal line. They'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. And the Michigan offense back out on the field. Let's see what they do here in the final minute of the half. Try to get aggressive and cut into the... And that pass rush has trapped him. It's a sack. And a timeout is called to talk strategy. Close game here as we approach halftime. I mean, that's another sack, Chris. I mean, we're just getting started here. First half, and you're already talking about giving up three sacks got to think about changing things up schematically, help that offensive line, and help that poor quarterback before he gets killed. And now a timeout quickly called by the defense as they try to get everybody on the same page here. Well, you can tell the quarterback knew exactly what he wanted to do with the football. He was going to that in route no matter what. He hits it for a nice game. The pressure is coming. And the senior making a disruptive impact play. And the defense will spend their second time out here to make some adjustments. I can't believe the amount of pressure this defense is getting on this quarterback. Sack after sack. Well, you've got to think about changing things up. The snap count, the scheme, anything at all to help this offensive line. They're overmatched so far in this game. Fresh set of downs for the offense. First down. Back to throw. It's Howard. Here's a throw underneath to the tight end. And he's out of bounds after gaining decent yardage. These undersized slot receivers can be some of the toughest guys to contain for a defense. They're quicker than they really are fast. And they're very elusive, tough to contain in these one-on-one -on -one matchups. That completion sets up a second down play. From the shotgun, drops back looking for an open man. He'll take a deep shot here. Tried to go very deep there. Good effort. But now it's third down. A lot of times college football, the game comes down to just a play or two. And that's a missed opportunity by this offense. I wouldn't be surprised to see them try to come back to that same play in the second half. So off the incompletion, it sets up a third down and three. Looking to pick up the first down through the air. Defense is coming after him. Able to throw it away. He felt the heavy pressure, took a hit, but got rid of the football. And I talk to defensive coordinators all over the country, and they're quick to point out the term affecting the quarterback. They, they, they kind of almost get offended when you want to talk to him about sacks. Sometimes it's just about getting into his face, affecting his vision. It's exactly what they did right here. 
And the kick angles out of bounds, so no return possible here. So they start the drive looking for some late fireworks here, less than 30 seconds before halftime. And here's the handoff. They tackle him right at the 35-yard line. Offense stops the clock with their second timeout to talk strategy. So the offense takes the field in the final seconds of the half. Chance for just a couple more plays. Looking to pass here on second down. Grab down the middle. It's Morris. So a timeout is called. Just a few seconds left here in the first half. First and ten play coming up. And the quarterback drops back looking for an open man. And with nobody open, he chooses to just throw it away. Just time enough for one more play in the half. Looking to pass, it's Orgy. And he'll loft this one deep to the left side. And it falls incomplete. One final shot as the quarter expires. And that will do it for the first half here. Kevin Connors now has our halftime update. Fellas, whether it's in the shoe or the big house, when you have these two programs with all that's at stake today, you know emotions run high in a game known simply as the game. And I get it. A lot of coaches will say the difference between winning and losing comes down to stopping big plays and getting big plays. But if you ask me, it's more about how good you are on third down and how efficient you are in keeping drives alive. Those two stats can help you break the will of even the best defenses and help you come out on top. With that, let's throw it back to the guys to see how the fight between Michigan and Ohio State plays out. Buckeyes will kick this away to begin the second half. And he takes this from inside the five. And he stopped at the 20. Tried to make something happen, but that's good coverage there. And the Wolverines offense is back on the field. First play of the second half, they keep it on the ground. And the senior able to make the stop after a short game. You know, in the era that we live in right now, everybody wants to spread the field around, try to create space, try to create one-on-one -on -one matchups, and the defense has countered over the years by trying to play out wide. But here's a great example. The defense has the ability to play wide, but still be solid at the line of scrimmage, not give up big run plays. And from the shotgun, an inside handoff. They're gaining some breathing room now. Tackled at the 26. Well, I feel like they called that knowing chances are they're not going to hit a home run. But look at this. Put themselves in a perfect third down situation. It's much more manageable. Now we'll see if they can convert. They punted four times already on the verge of a fifth. But they can't convert this third down. To throw, it's Orgy. Quarterback escapes the pocket. Slides to avoid the big hit. Well, this is so deflating for this defense on third and short. Good coverage downfield. They take away all the short routes, but the one guy that they don't account for is the quarterback in his legs. Picks up the first down by being athletic there and great awareness. The Wolverines begin a new series here, first and ten. Looking to pass this time. Caught over the middle. It's Morris. Takes it out to the 44. That's good for a first down. That's a nice completion here by this Michigan offense. And when Michigan is really clicking, you think about over the years, they've been efficient within that passing game. Being able to throw the football to complement a very physical running game. Nice play. The Wolverines pick up enough yards to get a fresh set of downs. And they'll try to pick it up on the ground. Nothing doing in that play. The big D tackle there for the stop. Well, they keep trying to run the football, and they keep getting dominated at the line of scrimmage. That has been a theme throughout this entire game. We've talked about it earlier in the game. It's not changing at all. They've become one-dimensional, and I think it's allowed this defense to really lock in on that quarterback. Quick completion to the tight end. Heads out of bounds as a short gain on the play. Just a good job of spreading the wealth, making sure everybody's getting their touches. When you do that, the defense can't lock in on one guy or two guys. 
make them have to be aware of everybody and allows you to continue to spread the ball around and spread the field, making it tougher for this defense. Shotgun formation here on third down. And it's complete downfield. He's tackled inside the 35 and picks up a first down. Really good job here of converting by this offense. And let's face it, at this point in the game, because they have such a big hole to climb out of, they've got to be able to convert and come up with a new set of downs. They do it here. Now they got a real shot to cut into this lead. Still searching for their first touchdown of the game, but on the move now. It's first and ten. It's a one-yard game, second and nine coming up. Now, this is the eighth play on this drive. Looking to throw, it's Orgy. Receiver makes the grab. They stop him at the 23. This offense is getting close to the red zone. That's nice execution to pick up the first down. A little curl rod Kirk against the zone. Yeah, when you play zone coverage like this, it's very difficult to defend this route if the quarterback does a nice job of reading the coverage. I thought he used his eyes there to be able to move the defense where he wanted them, created an opening in that defense, and then he made a great throw for that first down. Makes the catch. It's Loveland. They tackle him at the three, but that's a great gain on the pitch and catch. Well, this is what coaches love to see. A quarterback with the ability to read the defense properly and then just get it to the open man. Sometimes it sounds simple, but it's tough to execute. This time we have good recognition by the quarterback. Then he gets it down to the tight end. You can see what he can do after the catch. And the crowd really making some noise now, trying to help out this defense to get this stop near the goal line. They'll try to run this one in. And he runs it in for the score. Touchdown, Wolverines. That's a crucial score. Let's see if they can build momentum and complete this comeback. Well, I know they're still trailing, but that score is a great first step in trying to break down this lead. You don't want to leave it all to the fourth quarter when the pressure really intensifies and you have limited time. Offense still out there. Down by five. They're going to go for the two-point conversion and make this a three-point game. There's the snap. Quarterback setting up the throw. And the pressure gets home. He's dropped right there. And the deficit will remain where it is. Here's the kickoff team now, set to boot this one away. Fields it just outside the goal line. Tackled at the 22. Good job by the coverage team. Okay, here comes the Ohio State offense back on the field. They're coming off a three and out, looking to produce a positive drive here. Chris, you know, the spread error over the years has always grown offensively, but what I've been always impressed with the defenses that really build their defense to play in space still have an ability to be sound at the line of scrimmage and defend a running game. It's exactly what we saw right there. Now it's second down here. Back to throw. It's Howard. He dumps it off to the tight end. Receiver brought down after a short pitch and catch. Well, that's the thing with this guy. You've got the ability to flex him out. He shows his versatility and what he can do from that slot position. He could be the quarterback safety blanket. So ball at the 30. This is a manageable third down play for the offense. They'll try to move the chains here on the ground. And they'll tackle him for a loss of five yards. Chris, that play just didn't have much of a chance at all from the snap. Quarterback hands this off, and there's just nowhere to go. It's almost like the defense was anticipating the play call. 
and they put themselves in a position to come up with a nice tackle for a loss. The Buckeyes will line up to boot it away. On the kick now for the fifth time today. And the return man decides to signal fair catch. And the Michigan offense comes back out on the field. There's the handoff. That's a nice tackle there by the senior. Hey, it's a great job of this defense containing the running game. But if I'm calling the plays, I'm not abandoning the running game just yet. I think it's important to have some sense of balance. So throwing and running is essential. Stick with it. Offense getting set up. Here's second down. But go with the ground game here. Running back takes the handoff. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. The putter has been very busy so far. Can they finally convert here on third down? Here's the snap. Offense looking to throw the ball. Grab down the middle. It's Morgan. And he's brought down, but he does have enough for the first down. Well, when you play zone defense on third down and you don't get pressure from your defensive line, you're going to give a quarterback a lot of time to be able to find an open receiver and eventually get the first down. Not surprised at all that they're able to convert. And the Wolverines with first and ten here. Handoff to the single back. Stopped short of the marker after just a short game. Defense does a really nice job here being able to contain that run game. Held him just to two yards. Chris, to me, this changes the playbook a little bit now for the offense. The guy calling the plays at second and eight, that's a different deal. Now he's got to probably think about going through the air instead of staying on the ground. Back to pass. It's Orgy. And he lofts it toward the sideline. They try a downfield shot. That's a good effort there. But now it's third down. But, Chris, the offense takes a shot downfield, and this defender does a great job of making a play on the ball. Not only that, he tips that ball up into the air. Good chance for the defense to come up with an interception there. They're backed up here, trying to make something happen on third and long. Drop in back. We're going to throw for the first down. Looking to scramble. Going to try to use his legs here. Slides down to avoid the tackle. Chris, watch him work through his progressions here. Finds the first and the second option aren't there. By the third option, he's got to pull it down and try to pick up some positive yards, of which he did, and then he slides down to avoid the big hit. The Wolverines are moving quickly down the field. He'll hand it off. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Chris, I think we all kind of get caught up in third down. What, what is an offense doing on third down? But I think what's also important is how well you defend first down. If you can hold your opponents to a short gain or a tackle for a loss, you throw the offense out of whack, and their game plan gets much more challenging to try to come up with that first down. Quarterback wants to throw it on second down. Looking to set up a screen pass here. He's sworn by the defense. Offense breaks the huddle and gets set. It's third down. Well, Kirk, Ohio State has the lead here after one. Sitting in pretty good position as we wrap up the third quarter. Let's check out the game stats so far. We're set now for the fourth quarter. Who is going to make the crucial plays to take home this W? Can he get there on the ground? And he picks up the first down, tackled at the 32. Well, that's mano y mano right there. Offensive line knowing exactly their assignment, getting a hat on a hat, and that back threw just exactly where he needed to go to extend this drive. That's a first down. How aggressive do you get on first and ten? Takes the handoff, heads to the right. And this one goes nowhere. Lucky to get back to the line of scrimmage. 
Well, that's an excellent effort here by this defense, staying in their run fit, stay, holding their own at the line and making the tackle. The offense just couldn't get enough of a push to get anything going there. Offense getting set. It's second down. Off the play fake, looking to throw the football. Quarterback leaves the pocket on the move now. He'll avoid the big hit with the slide. Well, they did a good job of getting pressure on the quarterback, but, man, make the play. Bring him down. Instead, they give up positive yards here on the scramble. So here we go now. Third and short from the opponent's 24-yard line. What would the offense choose to do at this point? Looking to pick up the first down through the air. Pop over the middle. It's Morris. And the game just good enough for a first down. Well, that's exactly how you dice up a zone coverage. Nice throw downfield here on third down. And a really good route to give the quarterback a chance to make that play. The Wolverines look at a cash in in the red zone. And they'll run it out of the shotgun. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. Things just appear to be a bit out of sync from the get-go on that one. Give credit to the front seven of that defense for staying in the proper lanes and getting to the ball carrier, not let him dance around and make something out of nothing. Defense having to dig deep. Lane number 13 on this drive. They'll run it here. Oh, what a move. Breaks a tackle on the play and makes a decent game. Well, I'll take that every single time. Offensive line does a nice job up front. This backs vision and ability to get positive yards by lowering his pads on full display right there. An important third down conversion coming here in the red zone. Dropping back, it's Orgy. Makes the grab. Can he get there? Tackle is made at the four. It'll be first down and goal. Oh, I love it. Keep the kicker on the sideline. This offense knows when you're in the red zone, you got to come away with six. Great play to keep this drive moving. First and goal, and the offense punch it in and claim the lead here in the fourth quarter. Here's the snap. Quarterback drops back. They pressure him and get him the loss back to the seven-yard line. Well, it's a great job by this defense coming up with a big sack there on first and goal. The offense still has their opportunities. Let's see if they can get back on track here on second and goal. So off the loss, it's second and goal from the seven. They'll try to power it in right up the middle. And he's finally tackled at the three. Defense getting pushed backwards. Well, the defense is holding on for dear life. They've got a lead. It's late in the game. Just trying to keep this offense out of the end zone. Defense! Defense! And they cut into this lead now on third and goal. Defense! They'll try to muscle toward the end zone on the ground. Solid tackle, able to get him down. Boy, this defense is holding on for dear life. They stop him just short of the goal line, and now we've got a fourth and goal. Late in the game, offense against defense. Can the defense step up one more time, get a stop, and hold on to a victory? This could be the biggest play so far. Fourth and goal, and this offense is down, needs this. Quarterback escapes the pocket and takes off. And he's brought down. A sack will end this drive. Huge play here by the defense. Instead of getting points here and going for the field goal, this offense decides to get aggressive, and the offensive line gives up the sack. It looked like they miscommunicated. The defense, to their credit, is able to get after the quarterback, and they come up with not only a stop, but now they get the ball back themselves. So here's the first play of the drive, backed up with their own seven. And they'll keep it on the ground. Running back has a handoff. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. My gosh, this offensive line's got to do a better job of blocking. The defense was zeroed in on the ball carrier and absolutely nowhere to go for the offense. Offense getting set. Second down play here. 
And the wideout goes in motion. Looking downfield, it's Howard. Receiver makes the catch. And he shoved out of bounds with the defense short of the first down marker. This is an example of a quarterback and his offense just taking what the defense gives you. Not a huge play, but positive yards. The defense wants to give that throw to you. You take it, get the ball to your receiver, stay ahead of the sticks. Back now goes in motion. Defense will have to adjust. Let's it go quickly. Looks downfield and connects with a wide open wide receiver. They bring him down, but an explosive play by this offense. Big game. Oh, I love the call here by the offensive coordinator. Has the lead in the fourth quarter. It's third down. Instead of running, you throw it. Take a chance of a potential incompletion, but instead you trust your quarterback. Completion, first down, fresh set of downs, and you continue to work that clock. Off the play fake, looking to throw on first down. And he lofts it deep over the middle. Caught way downfield for a huge game. Tackle made after a big game. I just continue to be in awe of this offense. Even with the lead, these guys are going to play for 60 minutes. They do not let up. Here they are. Typically, you'd want to run the football here to work the clock. But these guys stick to the game plan and keep throwing the football, trying to get more yards. behind the line it's Scott defense shoves him out of bounds not much of a game there and here the tight end shows off his hands for a nice game love to see the big man get his touches second down after that run on the previous play looking to throw yet again that's caught. It's a Buka. They get him, but what a spin move. That's one for the highlight reel. They bring him down, but the veteran quarterback shows off that trademark arm strength. Chris Smith, I have no idea how you let that guy get that open. You know for a fact, all week long, in fact, they brought it up in our meetings yesterday, that they've got to stop this receiver, and then you lose track of him? And they're lucky that didn't go as a touchdown. We head now to the two-minute warning as this offense tries to bleed out the clock and secure this win. The Buckeyes line up on first and ten now. And they'll work the clock here by keeping it on the ground. And now a timeout taken by the defense trying to preserve as much clock as possible for their offense. Second down after that run on the previous play. Out of the shotgun, he'll hand it off. Got a lane. Can he get in? Touchdown, Buckeyes. This offense is still clicking. Well, that's why you practice right there, Chris. This offense had the pressure, the game on their back. They deliver. They get a touchdown. And now make this a two-possession game with under two to go. Like their odds of closing this game out. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. Extra point up and good. So the lead is 12 here in the fourth quarter. Here's the kickoff team. Let's see if they give the returner an opportunity to bring this back. Fields it inside the five-yard line. Makes it to the 16. That's good coverage there. And the Michigan offense back out on the field. The last possession, they were stopped on a fourth down and try. Can they get something going here? First down, looking to throw the football. Pulls it in. It's Bell. They make the tackle, but that pass creates a solid game. 
quarterback looks downfield to make this throw. He wants to be able to get the ball to be able to pick up enough yards for a first down. But instead, he gets the ball at least underneath to the drag route and gets some positive yards. They'll crank up the tempo here with the clock ticking down. Second down. To throw, it's Orgy. Receiver looks it in. It's complete. And they tackle him, but not before he picks up the first. Quarterback sees that this defense is dropping way back in zone coverage, so he does the right thing. Gets it underneath to that track route and picks up a first down. First down, clock stops for a moment, but no huddle here. They've got to hurry. Quarterback drops back from the shotgun, looking for a receiver. It's incomplete. They waited all game for a chance to intercept one. Instead, it's second down. Chris, I think the pressure is taking a toll on this quarterback. You can just tell the pass rush is affecting his progressions and his willingness to throw it away. Second down play coming up for this offense. After the incompletion on first down, looking to throw it again. This time, a completion. And the offense will wisely spend a timeout after the play. Clock management is going to be very important here in the final minutes. We're set for an exciting finish. Not much time left. Offense likely has one final drive. Grab down the middle. It's Bell. And he's brought down after a big first down gain. It's second and short. Maybe an opportunity, Kirk, to take a shot here. How about the offense here dialing up a good zone beater? Let's give credit to the coordinator for calling the right play at the right time and the receiver finding the hole in that zone. The clock is still running. They've got to get set quickly. And the offense wisely spikes the ball here to stop the clock. Sixth play of the drive coming up. They're going to throw for it on third and short. Short pass finds the tight end. And the offense will take a timeout with exactly 24 seconds remaining. This is a big conversion by this offense. They're down now in the second half. Probably limited opportunities at this point in the game. Every chance you get your hands on the ball, you need points. They keep this drive alive right here. Couldn't find anybody open and just has to throw it away. Boy, the quarterback did it about everything he could here to wait for that play to develop. And there was just nobody open. It's great coverage downfield. And instead of taking a sack or potentially throwing the pick, he just gets rid of it. So second down after the incompletion. Back to pass. It's Orgy. Missed his receiver on the left sideline. Incomplete. So the offense getting set. This is not where you want to be against this defense. Third and long. Dropping back. We're going to throw for the first down. And he decides to just throw it away. That's going to bring up fourth down now. Hey, it's an incompletion, but it's a nice job by the quarterback. I know it didn't pan out, but the most important thing is he didn't turn the football over and he didn't take a sack. It'll give your kicker a chance to put some points on the board if they opt for the field goal here on fourth down. So down by multiple possessions here. The offense will try to convert here on fourth down. And he's going to fling it deep, going for it all here. And that pass is incomplete, trying for an oh-by-the-way touchdown, but it's no good. Time expires.